So let's do a diplomacy demo for Ascendancy. Diplomacy in Ascendancy is extremely intricate and detailed. Uh, not only can you do a lot of trading with other species in the game, but you can eventually win them over to the point where they form alliances with you, and then you can start getting quite detailed. So in this game you can see a developing star map here. We, uh, our color's yellow, our territory is uh, not that big, but we're getting more planets. There's some ships flying about, and you can see some star lane areas that are not connected to any of the areas we've currently explored. And that means that we've already engaged in some trading in this game, because the only way to get that information is from other alien species who have explored those lanes. And um, so here's the diplomacy wheel in the lower right. We touch that, and we can see that we know all of the other six species in the game. And that's one of the reasons for that is because we're the hand shacks. And that means that our special ability is that we know, let's see right here, the hand shacks are telepathic communicators. You can talk to all other races from the start of the game. Uh, that can be a heck of an advantage, especially in games where you might have a chance to win through peaceful and diplomat diplomatic means, which is possible in Ascendancy. And here's the species intelligence page. We can see that we're at war with one species, the green guys, the fruit maca. We are neutral, we're at peace, but not necessarily in an alliance with four species in the game. And the purple guys, the dub tacks in this case, have an alliance with us. You can tell by the little wreath around the uh, the species icon here. And so it, it might be nice to have an alliance with a few other species. And in this game, you can see up here to have help for getting started, this talks about the diplomacy view and the different things that you can do in diplomacy. Um, here it says goodbye, we declare war, we propose an alliance. Now, since I've been playing this game, I know that they haven't been accepting our offers for an alliance. So the thing to do here is continue to try to offer trades. We're going to exchange research. and They tell us, okay, they say our scientists advise us that your people are likely not advanced in areas where we need information, but we agree anyway. Um, so that's fine. And instead of proposing an alliance right now, we're going to keep kind of playing friendly with them without pushing ourselves on them too much, because that actually does make a difference in the game. Um, but instead we'll say goodbye and we'll talk to someone else. The chronomist, now we'll see if they want to exchange star lane knowledge. They say, yes, lanes blue and red, our knowledge you will have. Let's try to propose an alliance. No, they won't do it yet. So we say goodbye and maybe the Orpha would like to trade. We'll trade info. Well, okay, they, they, they're always very morose, but they, they traded with us. Propose an alliance. No, not now. Okay, goodbye. So they're not really ready to go yet, but let's look at the dub tax. Since we do have an alliance with them, we also have a few more options. We can open up the mini species wheel here, and we can start talking about specific species. And we can ask them to either declare war or form alliance, attempt to form alliances. So since we're trying to be friends with the Capilons, we're going to ask them to offer an alliance to them. Maybe that'll loosen them up a little bit. And they say, we keep trying, but they always reject our offer. And that's fine. The other interesting thing is you can open up a mini star map here. And later in the game, when you have various things going on, perhaps you're at war with one or two species and have alliances with one or two others, you can ask your allies to come give you specific help in a specific star system. So... There we're picking the intransigent system, and we can ask them to come get rid of enemy ships or um, help us anywhere we like. And that is very valuable at late stages of the game when you're really trying to push perhaps a, a species into declaring peace with everyone else. If, if you're the one who engineers a galaxy-wide truce, that can give you a very high score in ascendancy. Um, and that's a good overview of the different possibilities for alien diplomacy and ascendancy.